All right, I am now ready to release this formula. Okay, so this is a electroforming solution built for a very specific purpose. So, if you are watching this video, please note, in order to mix this formula, you would have and need still your old electroforming solution, okay? because this is not a electroforming solution in my humble opinion it is for plating at a very serious amount of detail on an organic surface okay so it's for pre-composition work I'll explain a little bit about how that works in the summertime you get leaves okay and in October and December I live in Michigan, we don't get leaves. Okay. So I need to find a way to preserve those leaves so in the winter time when I have like Christmas roll around I still have the ability to have leaves. So I needed to preserve them in copper. A very thin layer of copper. So like this for example, this is has a very thin thin even amount of copper and preserves all the detail. It looks like a leaf, right? But it's actually copper. Okay, here's another one. These, these are really small raspberry leaves. These are the baby leaves that you find at the top of a raspberry bush. Incredible amount of detail now ready to preserve them for later composition work. In other words, I, I still have to electroform them. This is kind of electroplating. So na naturally, electroplating has a lot of acid in there, but I can't have organics and acid mixed together. It just doesn't plate well with organics. So a leaf about that size in this tank, this size tank, will roughly take about two to three hours to, to plate with the level of copper that I needed to preserve it. Then I can hang them up and then go about my business. So you can see that this formula is for a very specific purpose. It's very handy. Oh man, it's so handy. So another purpose is, let's say you have an insect, okay? The insect is very brittle. So you could electroform the insect using this formula to preserve it for later composition work where you could put a, a thicker plate if you needed. So electroplating is the thin deposit of metal with high acid and it's very good for like plastics and it's very good for like metals and everything else but it is not good for organics whatsoever. Electroforming is the thick deposits that we use for making jewelry or composition work, post-composition work. This is a mid-grade between those two formulas. And if you've mixed the electroforming solution recipe that I released and you like it and you use it all the time, then I would highly suggest this formula. It cannot live outside of a 3,000 milliliter vessel. So if you get any larger than this, it doesn't work quite as well because the distance between the anode and cathode needs to stay about 2 inches. Anything more than 2 inches, since it doesn't have a whole lot of acid in it, there is not a lot of amperage. So the amperage can't get over to the piece to deposit the copper. If you live in a country that doesn't support acid or getting acid, I would say this is a really good alternative for that. Okay? But it will not make thick deposits. It would take forever to make thick deposits on a, on a surface with this formula. So it's good for preserving, good for thin, low amount of acid, and it also functions quite well at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning you do not have to have a heater in the tank. So those are some of the characteristics of this formula. All right, sweet. So 
I hope if you if you like those, if you like the characteristics, or if you just you know are interested in you know playing around, um, the formula is below at a very low cost. I'm also going to be releasing this to my advanced electroforming class free. Okay, so it's going to show up there um, if you've already purchased that class and you've gone through the material for organics I'm going to be releasing that in there so you might want to like jump into that class to get the recipe and uh, then you can mix your own sweet so I hope you enjoyed and have a good one